Good morning everyone, how are you today? Hope that you are fine. Today we are going to start our new grammar lesson for 5th primary, lesson 2a, the relative pronouns and adverbs. Now, before we start, I want to ask you what are the relative pronouns and how can we use them? Now, let's move to slide number 2 to see what are the relative pronouns and how can we use them. A relative pronoun is used to connect a clause or a phrase, which means a sentence, to a noun or to a pronoun. That clause, which called the relative clause, describes the noun. That means that the relative pronouns are very important connectors in the sentence. We use them in order to connect the two sentences together. And um, they also connect a noun with a relative clause that gives more information or describe the noun. The relative pronouns are usually located after the noun. So, that makes it clear which person or place or thing that we referred to. Now, what are the, personal, what are the relative pronouns that we have for today? I want you please to move to slide number three in order to start with the first relative pronoun that we have for today who who we use who for people and we replace it instead of the personal pronouns i he she we they so that means that we use the word who in order to refer to a personal person or to people so please let me give you an example for this the woman who called me yesterday wants to buy the house. Now, I wanted to ask you, where is the noun in this sentence? Very good, the woman. And where is the relative pronoun? Very good, who? And where is the relative clause? Who called me yesterday? Okay, so let's move to the second word that we have for today. The second relative pronoun, which we use which for things or animals we refer to things or animals by the word or by the relative pronoun which so please let me give you an example did you see the letter which came today now where is the noun very good letter and where is the relative pronoun very good which and where is the relative clause which came today another example this was for things let's have another one for the animals i love that puppy which is jumping at the kitchen now would you please tell me where is the noun very good the puppy and it's of course an animal and where is the relative pronoun very good which and where is the relative clause which is jumping at the kitchen now, I want you please to move with me to slide number four in order to have the third relative pronoun for today, whose. And we use whose to refer to the ownership of something or possession of, of people or animals. Let me give you an example. She is the student whose handwriting is the best in my class. Where is the noun? Very good, student. And where is the relative pronoun here? Whose? Whose handwriting? Because this handwriting belongs to her. So whose is the relative pronoun? And whose handwriting is the best in my class is the relative close. Now, let's go to the fourth relative pronoun for today. That. And we use that to refer for people, things and animals. Yes, we use it for these three things things people and animals so let me give you an example the blue jacket that she is putting on belongs to her friend now where is the noun jacket where is the relative pronoun that and where is the relative clothes that she is putting on this is great now for the fifth word that we have today where it's a relative adverb. The relative adverb for places is where. 
the relative, ad the relative adverb for places where. So we use where to refer to places. So this is very good at this point. So please let me give you an example. We visited the house where our father was born. Of course, the noun here is house and it's a place. So what is the word that I'm going to use? Of course, where because I'm talking about the place. So please. Where is the relative adverb? Where our father was born is a relative clause and of course the noun is the house. I want you please now to get ready with me in order to move to answer the first exercise for today, the choose, choose the correct word between the brackets. Let's move to slide number five. There is a man which, who, whose, when showed us the way to the temple in Aswan. Now I'm talking about what? Where is the noun? A man. And a man here is a person. So what is the relative pronoun that we are going to use? Who? Very good. So the sentence is going to be as following. There is a man who showed us the way to the temple in Aswan. Now let's move to the second one. That's the hairdresser, which, where, who, when, cuts my hair. Hairdresser is the noun. Very good. Yes, it's the noun. And it refers to a person. So we are going to use who. Very good. Now let's move to the third one. The restaurant, which, where, who, when, my friend works in, is really expensive. Restaurant here is a place. So what are we going to use? Where? Very good. Number four. Mrs. Mona is the woman. Who, whose, where, when. Son went to London. Son here is something belongs to her. So I'm expressing an ownership. So which relative pronoun that I can use in order to express this? Very good. Whose? So, Mrs. Mona is the woman whose son went to London. And now, let's move to number five. The park, which, where, who, when we spend the weekend was amazing. Yes, it's a place. And I'm talking about the park that was amazing. So, which word? Where. So, the park where we spend the weekend was amazing. So, I want you please to move to slide number six to, an to answer the rewrite question. And let me tell you that we have got two ways in order to answer the rewrite. The first way, with the first question, let me say um, the question for you at first. And then we are going to think together how can we answer this. Number one, the book is on the table. It has got a blue cover. Which? Now. Where is the noun? Of course, the book. And where is the personal pronoun that refers to the book? It. Very good. So, in this case, how can I answer it? Okay, step by step. First, we are going to underline the noun. And also, we are going to underline the personal pronoun. So, we have underlined the book and it. Now, I want you please to drop it and put which instead so here i'm having two sentences the book is on the table and the other sentence which has got a blue cover now how can we join this sentence together or rejoin it together actually we said that relative pronouns and relative clauses comes um, directly after the noun so where is the noun here the book so the book which has got a blue cover is on the table are you with me? Okay, so step by step, we first underline the noun, then we underline the personal pronoun that refers to the same noun, and then we put the relative pronoun, and I want you please to make something, to circle the relative pronoun with the, uh, with the sentence after it, to make the relative close or to remark the relative close with you, and then we put all of this relative clause, included the relative pronoun, of course, 
directly after the noun. Then we complete our sentence. The second way that we have is going to be here in the second question. A national park is an area of land. People can go and enjoy nature. Now, do you have here a personal pronoun referring to the same noun? Would you please read the sentence again? A national park, underline it, it's in the noun, is an area of land. People can go and enjoy nature. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm, uh, here I'm not having a personal pronoun, so what I'm going to do, it's so easy. You are going to put where? In order to join the two sentences together, to make one sentence. The answer is going to be as following. A national park is an area of land where people can go and enjoy nature. It's so easy. Now, I want you please to move to number three. Mr. Ali is a taxi driver. He lives on the corner. Who? Yes, very good. The first step is to underline the noun, Mr. Ali. Then we are going to underline the personal pronoun that refers to the same noun, he. And then we are going to drop he and put instead of it who and then we have who lives on the corner that became the relative clause so we are going to put it directly after the noun so the answer is going to be as following mr ali who lives on the corner is a taxi driver now i'm going to give you 10 seconds in order to think how can we answer question number four thank you very much for your email it was very interesting which Huh? Are you ready? Okay, so the answer is going to be, thank you very much for your email, which was very interesting. Now, the last question that we have, my friend helped me to get a job. His father is the manager of a company, whose? Now, who's here for the ownership? So can you exactly tell me where we can put whose? I'm waiting for you. So first, my friend here is a noun. So my friend helped me to get a job. His father, his father here is the, uh, the word, the word his refers to the ownership. So his father can be replaced with, very good, with whose. So the relative clause that we have is going to be whose father is the manager of a company. So we are going to put this clause or this sentence directly after the noun, my friend. And the answer is going to be as following. My friend whose father is the manager of a company helped me to get a job. Thank you very much for your attention. And I'm going to meet you again in the next lesson.